Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of that celebrity interview. Well, Dr. Ish Major, they found you. Thank you for coming back to the Valder Beebe Show. How are you? I, I am well, but I can barely hear you at all. Oh, really? I couldn't hear you previously. We'll we'll I don't know why. Please, I'll tell my engineer on my end. I don't know. I think we started off with some problems. How's that going? Okay, much better now. Much better? Yep. <laughs> All right, then. You know we're working remote over here. Who knows? <laughs> yeah, yep, same. Oh, yeah. Well, I want my audience to know that Dr. Ish Major is back. I told you he was coming back. He's on <laughs> WeTV, and you guys get a dose of him wherever you can, you told me. So today we're going to get some inside scoop. You do couples therapy, uh, therapy, Dr. Ish, from your own couch. Give me a take on what's going on in your tumultuous uh, world, or the tumultuous <laughs> times, rather. Well, Vanda, this is this is the week, right? Every, this is do or die. This is decision week for everybody. So we've had some some really cool couples. We had a lot of ups, a whole lot of downs. Uh, not everybody makes it to the finish line. But this is this is the week they've got to decide. So we got Willie and Shonda, and uh, I'm really pulling for both of them. Uh, Davon and Hazel have been through a lot, and so we're going to see how they do. Phaedra and Medina, eh, eh, this is touch and go. <laughs> You're never going to know. And then Tahiri and Bottle, obviously, they were the big story the whole season. How explosive they were. So uh, it's it's a lot. There's a lot riding on it this week. Let me ask you. Dr. Ish, does this therapy really work? Because I know this is for the public, but, you know, it, it's hard to even do therapy in private, but yet these people are doing it on a world stage. Well, it does, right? Because at some point they forget the fact that the cameras are rolling, and at some point they feel like, oh, wow, I just felt something real, and I just felt a little bit better than I had before. And at that point, they buy in, they start drinking the Kool-Aid, and they really get into the process. And so it does, right? But just like the therapy at home or therapy at your favorite therapist's office, it's uh, it's by degrees, right? And so if I can get you to walk out of our doors a little bit better than when you came in, then it's good. Baby steps are still steps, so I'll take it. Okay, so I know you're dealing with multi-complex uh, issues, uh, opioid crisis, uh, people yep. uh, needing to detox from different kinds of drugs and things like that. What do you recommend for my, fam my, my, my listening family, as I like to call them sometimes, who are dealing with these issues, and, and one usually does not want to go to therapy? True, right. So that's the main thing, right? The person who needs it is the last person who's going to go, and so the folks who are around them, we end up enabling them even though we really don't want to, right? We just don't want to see them hit rock bottom. We don't want to see them, you know, lose stuff, whether it's their job or their money or their relationships or, you know, things, some legal issues. And so the thing you can do, if you're looking for resources, you've tried to point it out to them as best you can. You guys have done a family intervention where you kind of sit down and say, hey, we think this is what needs to happen, and they're usually not going to listen. Then you can call up, you can go to psychologytoday.com. And you can put in there, you know, your zip code to have a great therapy finder there. And you can pull up the pictures and the specialties of people in your area. And then you can give a few a call and say, hey, this is what I'm dealing with here locally. I'm right down the street from you. What can I do? Um, but the, the term rock bottom, it's a real thing for a real reason. That's because people usually have to start facing some pretty severe consequences and losing things before they realize, hey, I've really got to get the help. And your job is just to be supportive when they're ready. Okay, here's another one. We've got COVID-19 still playing a major factor. There's actually people who have lost, uh, pe they know people that they've lost to COVID-19. Is this making people, um, uh, the problems being more magnified in a relationship? Because people are now sequestered at home a great deal more than they previously were. Well, it is, right? So your relationship on COVID-19 is like throwing gas on a fire. It's an accelerant. So everything that was good, boom, blows it up. Great. We got more of that. But everything that was bad, whoosh, it just sets it on fire. And so really? one of the biggest, uh, it does. And one of the biggest things is we're on top of each other so much more now. Before, Valder, we were gone eight, ten hours a day, right? I get my break. I get my me time in. But now we're always there in front of each hours, in front of each other eight to ten hours a day if you're working from home or Sadly, if you don't have a job to work anymore at all. And so 
the thing that couples can do is not be afraid to ask for their space. Right? Just ask for the space. They need it. If you're thinking about it, they're thinking about it too. Somebody's got to go first. Say, hey, honey, I don't know about you, but I love spending time with you. But some days I feel like I'm all over me and I'm losing who I am. I wonder if we can't do this. Every night, 7 o'clock, I'm going to go to this room over here or this corner of this room. And you're going to go to that corner. And you're going to do your thing for 30 minutes. And I'm going to do mine. And then when we get back together, we don't have to tell each other what we did. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> That's one solution. But, Dr. Ish, what about, um, I, I hear a lot of people on Facebook talk about, uh, uh, they, they're kind of envious of people that have good relationships in a sense. Yeah. You know, you see them making those little slide m- remarks when people say, oh, we're celebrating our anniversary or his birthday, and they make them little sly remarks. Is this a good time for them to also, to maybe try to work out some of those issues that they have? Well, it is, right? You've got you've to resolve the, the elephant in the room. And see, this is the thing that gets people into trouble. Number one, stop looking at everybody's highlight reel and assuming that their life is good. <laughs> How do you know? <laughs> right? It's a picture and some words they typed up, which a lot of times, Valda, doesn't have anything to do with the reality of what they're living. I can tell you that because I see some of those couples with their storybook pictures on Instagram and on Facebook, and you don't want any parts of what's going on back there. But now the other thing is... <laughs> resolve the issue in the room. And a lot of times couples don't get into trouble because they can't resolve issue well, right? Resolution doesn't lead to love and connection. You just got to acknowledge the thing. Say, hey, honey, this is where we are. I know we've had some issues. I know how I've contributed to it. At the end of the day, we're friends, and I want to make sure we come through this still as friends, not standing in the way of each other's happiness, whether we're standing together or standing apart. And by just doing that, you allow each other to kind of express the thing that's going on, regardless of if you ever resolve it or not. But acknowledging the issue is what gets you through. I want you to know my guest today is Dr. Ish Major. He is the reason you tune in to Marriage Boot Camp, and he's got Hip Hop Edition. Dr. Ish, you have great advice. Where can my audience, uh, when will we see uh, these people you spoke of briefly? Well, we're going to see them this Thursday at 9 o'clock on WeTV for the season finale. WeTV is where it's all going down. So you can see all our hip-hop stars there. And if you're looking for me, just follow me on Instagram, Dr. Ish Major. Uh, go to my website, drishmajor.com. Got a really cool take-home boot camp that a lot of folks are doing as they're working through the issues while our couples are on the show. And so drishmajor.com, but it's the same way everywhere you go, Val. There's just me, Dr. Ish. Google it, look it up, go follow it. (laughs) Dr. Ish, thank you always for inspiring my audience. They usually love to talk about you because they like what you do. Thanks for being my guest again on the Valder TV Show. Thank you so much for having me, Valder. I appreciate it. All right. My phone pouch. My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com. Hi, I'm Valder Beebe, host of The Valder Beebe Show. I have used Credit Help USA, the credit restoration company that's bonded and state certified. When you become a client of Credit Help USA, you become eligible for a set of stainless steel cookware from Credit Help USA and The Valder Beebe Show. Get your credit straight today. Visit credithelptx.com, click on the Valder BB Show icon, and get started living life divinely. (laughs) 